Well, they did unspeakable things to me. They brutally arrested me, beat me, tortured me, abused me, and left me for dead. Well, um, I'm even talking to you against my doctor's orders because to them I'm supposed to be resting. But like I've always said, the fire that burns inside me burns hotter than the fire that burns outside me. So what are your plans? As you said, the fire is still burning. And uh, I'm sure the fire is burning on the other side as well. So how are you going to deal with that? Well, I'm going to continue, uh, most importantly, calling upon Ugandans, especially the young people, to stand up for what they believe in, to not give up, never to give up, to continue pushing until they get the freedom and dignity that they deserve. Ugandans have been tortured and killed for very many years. It has been happening, it is happening, and it will continue to happen until we as Ugandans put an end to it. So are you planning to go back to Uganda? Of course I'm going back to Uganda. Uganda is my home. I don't have any other home. That is where I was born and that is where I will be buried. Aren't you afraid to go back to Uganda? I'm not afraid because <clears throat> being here already is torture. I'm away from my family, I'm away from my children, and I'm away from fellow Ugandans who were tortured. You know, I'm only lucky that I have the ability to come for specialized treatment, but I'm not scared. The ordeal that you narrated in length on your social media, the authorities back in Uganda uh, claim that it's fake, and even the crutches that you have are fake. What do you have to say about that? Well, does anybody get surprised when the authorities torture Ugandans and say it's fake? I have nothing to say to them. All I have to say is to the Ugandans, not to the authorities. They're so drunk on power, they don't listen to nothing. So what exactly is your plan when you go back? I'm going to continue the fight for freedom. And it is the fight that we must either win or die trying. You do realize that um uh, President Museven has the police, has the army and everything else. So how do you expect to win the fight that you're talking about? The police and the army are supposed to be serving the people. So it doesn't matter whether he has the police or the army. We have the people of Uganda on our side. We all know that uh, you're commonly known as the president of the ghetto in Uganda. Uh, do you want to be the president of Uganda? It's not about me, and it's not about being president. We just want to be free. I just want to live in a country that I'm proud of, a country that makes sense to me and to every other Ugandan. 